Up if confident would back himself into. Yes! yes! Grandmaster at arms is here in the semifinal. Oh, beat it. They're going to have to draft more offensively for the lanes and also be more proactive with the jungle. Predator here, though, King. he's going to go for the knockup. Nice flash by Gorilla, but could there be a repeat as Fujin now knows he's got no escape to slow us in? Flash for the stun. They've got the chain CC. The kill is going to go, but stolen by Sword Art. Ignite takes the goal. Huge for flash holds here. For the jungler pressure. Well, junglers maybe, and a Tom Kent showing up on the bottom side as Muna gets exhausted oh, right over the wall. That's a lot of damage. He doesn't have a way out in the wall. Unfortunately, cuts off the escape. Mujin going up again in the late game or in the mid to late game. All these items come together. He's in the fifth at all. He has a reason. Oh, 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 he protects it. BDD with the solo. Time we saw BDD on the Aswan. Never got going. The game was decided around him with the Zap not being able to do anything. This game, he gets his eye in, he has the red buff, and oh boy, does he make maple. for Hanabi, but there will not be a flank just yet as his turret is losing all of its life, and looks like Peanut and Prey gonna share that first turret goal. Wow. That's gonna mean Jax pushing top lane as a trade for this mountain, Drake. Not gonna be a true shot for Austin Lane. That's gonna be secured here, so what can Khan get topside? If you can get the turret, at this point in the game, you might take it. You wanna get to your three Trinity Force Power Spikes as early as possible. Gold may be more valuable than a Mountain Drake in this situation when you spike so cleanly at one big item on three champions. You just take it. Especially considering the locations of the teleports available there. Don't have this sort of a lead. There's suddenly a hurricane out of three daggers. There are items adding up for Betty. The turret goes down, but it was delayed about three or four minutes, and that brought a hurricane and a dream for the side of Flash. And the gold still leeching forward towards the red side. The mountain track, as you mentioned, Kobe in control as well. Flashbulls might be looking over the wall, but it might require a flash. They're putting it down so fast, never in spite range. BDD might go for the stun, gets one to the back line. They're gonna dive in! They've all picked him up! Sorta has to kite away, and now, once again, they're re-engaged. They've been slowed and disarmed, but Flashbulls able to run. Prey finds some poke, but it will be Flashbulls. Speed able. is immense. Triple Trinity Force, and just how strong Prey is. Spot lane. First aggressive play, looking for the fight in the top. In the bottom side, as Khan does not have an easy escape route. Flashes and still dies to ignite. There we go, the pressure valve has been thrown. Oh, I know. This is three, knows what's going on. Does still have the flash, I do believe. Here comes some help, and it's gonna be the re-engage at three man sharp and a knockup. Is there more of a fight to be had? As Sword Kite's right back out, and Betty is gonna stay safe for now. Looking at the next bit of the play, as BDD is coming around, an eventual 5v4 though. Into the back line goes BDD, catches one, but it is gonna be a trade, as they keep going, a double kill for the mid lane. Not gonna be enough damage as Hanabi, as the sun comes out, and BDD is still on the run, and Maple is on the chase. A nice pick up there as Peanut falls down, kills. There is there for Mujin, who is dead. Right now, Sword just respawns, so a 2v3, Baron Oh this is going to be dangerous. Prey has five health, and that's a quick kill for Betty. Kites away from Khan. Another in for Maple, and now Jax can only run. Oh, he can turn it back, though. Gets the kill, stays alive as well. Still two for one. Flashles win that skirt. Their second Drake in a row here. This one will affect combat power, and yes, no still going to be had, so Flashles. Really not. Oh, that's two vision tools used at the same time. Reaper's Wall plus the blue trinket. Even less time Flashbulls can use. The con is in. Looking for the play. Hanabi's gonna pop the ult. You guys have to keep running though. Hellfire's running low. The dive is in. They've got the pick off. And they cannot re engage through the Zolt Smith. Turn from Baron isn't quite as lethal. Pinky turns from Baron. And Khan is right behind. There's gonna be a big stun. He gets three of them with it. Is this gonna be the team fight? Peanut's coming around for the slow as well. Mujer running out of health. Flashes away. Just stays alive. Petty just cutting out as well. Pops the ult and the invisibility. An unstoppable Olaf is coming for you. But he's not gonna get the kill. Prey, however, will. Two for zero in this fight so far, and they're running. Flash health bars are low. Peanut's got a life, so this one, a good fight, could get a double kill. But looks like Smite is all but a guarantee. No one's in range to steal. Prey goes over. Ooh, Maple puts some damage in, but Baron... Definitely unsettled by Uzi. Comes to the best 80 carry in the world title. Tell me a much better game. He has 60 CS up. It's a pun. You, they want those inhibitor turrets down. There's that split push. Zero, four, one, mid tier two, bot tier two, both them gone. Still a minute and a half on this Baron buff. Now the gold they're earning is not going back into their inventories here, so maybe a defense can happen as they keep scaling up. Put some axe at the bot line, Peanut creating space. Mid inhibitor turret is gone as bot lane still being pushed towards by Khan. Has respect to possible to Leron, but now they're gonna find this they coming to This could be the damage and charm the disengage, but only finds the one target. And a quick disengage for BDD finds even more damage to the back half. He's got some mark targets to go for. Look at Hanabi forced out as well. Mid inhibitor is gone. And down to the wave that Khan prepped up there, just taking over the entire base king zone. And when you have double, tri triple Trinity Force, just chunking someone out means it. It is a best of five. You gotta win three games to do it, king zone. Looking boys to make it one third of the way here. Prey continuing the siege to the top side. A bit far without teleport. Could not join this fight too quickly. Righteous Glory pop, but can't get the way in just yet. That's gonna time out now. 
3,000 on the Elder Dragon, and look at the disengaged flash was very far away, not in flash range, picked up cleanly. Nice try on the ultimate beauty. They don't have a lot of openings. They're running out of options. Betty kites away from what would be the stun, but this is still a turret. Oh. Look at the trust. Prey just does so much damage. Oh, does not quite land the Vanguard. That's an ult coming across as well. Beauty with the second miss, but it still means the inhibitor is down as mid and bot still respawning. How to be clearing away the waves, and now it's going to be a Baron Rush. Gorilla brings Prey over. You could duo this if you wanted to. And they're going to do just that. Vina comes over. He's going to be able to secure with this fight in case there was any sort of long range attempts. But nobody from Flash Wolves is going to move. And this is going to be King Zone. Now Baron empowered. Two of the inhibitors. Top is dead. Mid and bot have respawned. And middle will drop to a banner Baron minion. When, at what point, can Flash Wolves get themselves a fight? The gold lead getting farther and farther away. King Zone. Crossing their T's, dotting their eyes. Weaver's Wall comes down, is going to separate Peanut and BDD. They can't both hit up with Tom Kench. And here comes the hard engage, a double knock up is there. Damage output, pretty match. The pressure is on, but they do not have the damage. BDD will only revive with Garden Angel. Betty still goes down. Ignite was on a double kill in the back line. Looking for more in the fight as BDD re engages, gets number three, gets number four. They're all dead. Kings don't get the clean ace. They're going to claim game one. That's what offense looks like, and King Zone take the Nexus. So aggressive, so decisive, the new pick of the Aurelia. Saw it yesterday, see, almost perfected by BDD in this first game here. And if that is the tone and that is the speed that this series is going to be played upon, Marshalls need to look back at the...